Next we're going to look at the different trigger types. So let's check here. Okay, we've got edge, slope, pulse, video, window, interval, dropout, runt, pattern. That's nine different trigger types. And then we have serial one, that's IIC, and serial two, SPI. So nine trigger types and two serial types. Okay, so we're gonna set it to edge. Then we're going to set our source to channel one. Yes, already there, okay. Then we set the slope. We can do rising, falling, or both, rising and falling. We're gonna go to rising. We can set the hold off, which is pretty much the delay between uh, triggers, okay. So we turn that off, okay. Coupling, we can have DC, AC, we can have low frequency reject or high frequency reject. Okay, we'll set it to DC. And there's also a noise reject option on or off. So our signal's looking pretty good. We can also adjust the uh, trigger height, trigger level. We can go down there. Okay, now we're triggered. Okay, push the knob, it'll zero out. Okay, now we set it to falling, both, rising, falling, rising, okay. Set the hold off time, so there's a delay, 10, 15, 20 milliseconds, almost, 30, okay, up, up, up. Okay, we're, now we're in seconds, looks like the highest is 1.5, 1.5 seconds for the, the, the trigger delay. Okay, and we can close that. And there you have it, those are our trigger types. That's edge to begin. Okay, so we looked at the edge trigger type with a sine wave. Let's change it to slope and a ramp wave. Okay, now we're looking at the slope trigger type. Channel one, good, rising. Okay, let's go to page two, and we can see we can set, with a slope trigger type, we can set the upper and the lower range. So we're at 2.12 volts for the upper, and the lower, oh, well, let's adjust the upper, I guess. Now the lower, 1.52 volts, negative, okay. So now we've got almost exactly the time base, which is 200 microseconds. So we've measured the distance there, the time. Okay, the coupling's set to DC. Re noise reject, doesn't make a difference, okay. Limit range, now we're set to less than, good. So we're set to two nanoseconds, let's go up. And we're going for greater than 200 microseconds. 60, 70, oh, we went all the way up. Okay, 500 microseconds, three. You have to be careful because you don't want to shoot past it. Okay, there, there we are. Okay, so 185, about. Okay, that's about our time. Okay, now we looked at a slope wave. Let's change that to pulse, and I'll change the output here to a pulse wave. So we can measure that, channel one, good. Polarity, positive and negative. Let's set it to positive. Limit range, we can go less than, good. Okay, page two, we got DC, the coupling. Noise reject, doesn't make a difference, again, okay. So now, we've got it set to less than, so we'll stop it. Have a look, and then you can see it's about 200 microseconds per division, and that looks like almost exactly one division. So let's start it again. Now let's adjust the time to about 200 microseconds and see what the time is. Okay. So 218, almost there. 204, 203, 202, 201, up oh, 200. Okay, so it's about 201. 201 microseconds, okay, for each pulse. 
about one division. Okay, now we finished looking at the first, what is it, uh, first three trigger types. Okay, next we have video. Uh, I don't have a video generator at the moment, so we'll do that video another day. And the next one is, next trigger type is window, then interval, dropout, runt, and pattern. And we'll, serial one, serial two, and we'll look at those another day. Yeah, in the future, on the next videos. Thanks for watching.